What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the right side of the map in the green color playing as Hades. His name is Demantis, his partners today in the yellow color. If I can click off of your lock in the yellow color, playing as Poseidon, his name is Matrius and in the purple color playing as Oranus. His name is Swiss Boy, and together they make Team Yuka. We see a sub here with Swiss Boy taking uh, I Kill You Die's spot for game number two here. Uh, their opponents today in the teal color playing is Aranus. His name is Scardi, and the red color playing as Aranus. His name is Shelty, and in the blue color playing as Ra, his name is Joe. The map is Oasis. It is currently 1-0 to zero for Team Yuka taking that first game on Lumber Camp. Moving on to game number two. This is Oasis here. Uh, Oasis is, is sometimes can be a very, very slow, boomy map. Depends on the center spawn. And a spawn like this is going to be very interesting to see how these guys are going to want to play it. Because if they wall the center off both teams... Uh, and they can basically prevent any sort of shenanigans through that way, then both at the fight, all the fighting happens on the sides of the map. So that's where the map is at its kind of longest in a way, because they have to go all the way around from the center. Um, so that, that'll that allow really big booms and maybe a hyper late game team game here, which can be very, very exciting with tons of action, especially with uh, the the Raz on the game. But there are uh, these Aranos, pesky, pesky Aranos players here, which uh, endeavor to finish the game as fast as they can. Though in, in the team games, we see a lot more Helios than Heke because you get those three... Um, vortex charges and in the minute that it takes or is it 90 seconds whatever it is in the minute that it takes for the vortex to recharge you can teleport into your opponent's base over here and pick off a town center or, or a bunch of villages or whatever and then teleport back to your home base and survive without losing anything because of just the way that that helios works is you get hacking gigantes you get fire siphon and your opponent is defending they're not thinking about siege weapons or you lose leaving them so they don't push as fast as you push, and then by the time they get some siege out, you can just vortex back and kill them all. Anyways, that's my aside, but we do have the Ra in this game, so oftentimes you don't see Egyptian in team games, especially in the uncoordinated team games, because uh, Egyptian just kind of can't help out their partners very much in the early game and then they get end up just being on the back foot for the entire game and potentially being able to come back in the late game but there is definitely a, an exception here with Ra and especially on Oasis in that Ra can do a lot of semi-fast heroic strats or it's not semi-fast heroic semi-fast mythic strategies which absolutely destroy uh, Norse players and Atlantean players so uh, there is an Atlantean player over here which will probably bear the brunt of said semi-fast heroics mythics whatever I'm trying to say uh, we do see Prometheus coming through now for Swiss Boy. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Joe grabbing a fast second town center through Ptah. Uh, probably the back one, not the front one, even though he does have these beautiful giraffe here. So he may want to grab this, but it is definitely a mistake. And then attempting to go to the Mythic Age. Uh, and the other thing that is huge about Ra is that if he gets left alone and say... Uh, the Hades player, as opposed to the Isis and Set, the Hades player wants to come over and try and pick off uh, some of Shelty. Uh, the economy is huge from the Ra, so his pushes is, is much stronger than an Isis or a Set player in the mid game. Anyways, we'll see how this is going to go. As the walls coming up here for Scardi already, I like this. Never, you don't very often see walls going up from an Atlantean player because they've got these manners up. But uh, this is really, really smart from Scardi because it's going to be able to quarter off the map a little bit and help uh, Shelty out basically in the in the long run here. So he gets these walls up and he's and, and he's going to be completely safe. We see the counter barracks, military barracks coming up for Swiss Boy, even though he's gone up fast. Uh, it's going to be interesting if he can afford to do this. He is on these. Uh, these giraffe over here as the oracles insane, sitting back nice and defensively here. Uh, but I don't think he's going to be able to afford double barracks here with um with the current resource situation he's got. And I think he's eaten all of his chicken he has. He does have zebra over here as well. So lots of hunt there. Uh, but I don't think there's an economic guild. So yeah, his, his food economy is just very, very slow here. Uh... <laughs> But everyone else is getting up to the next age. Let's just turn this on. Not that one. 
uh, this one. So we do have Tar, Athena, and Hermes. So kind of late advanced times from the Greek players. Uh, and a, a fairly, it's just kind of standard advanced time for Ra. This is the boomier version. So we're starting to see the Ajax come in and, and cause some issues over here. Uh, the villagers, Pharaoh can deal so much damage here with that 14.4. So this Ajax harass stops being so crazy strong in this uh uh, at this point, the, the Wadget coming forward, we see an Armory coming up here for Joe. He's going straight to the Heroic Age. This is interesting. No second Town Center. This is very un-Joe-like, uh, but definitely a, a smart play in the team game setting, uh, especially because Dumantis is going for a second Town Center, and you very rarely get put into these situations against Ra where you, you go, surely he just goes to two town centers, but there is definitely a possibility here for Scarab, for segment pushes against the booming um, Hades here, as we're starting to see the Minotaur coming in, Chiron coming back. Uh, Joe's not going to want to have to shifting sands this, so we'll see what he's going to do here as the Chiron is starting to lay siege over here. Meanwhile, he's going to just choose to retreat. Meanwhile, we've got Shelty moving forward through the middle of the map. No walls set up here yet at all. Big mistake here from Mattress. Definitely should have moved the villager forward and got this wall up. It's worth just sacrificing those resources. Uh, and we see Hathor is on the way here for Joe. So no segment, just straight Hathor. Uh, I'm going to be jumping onto these... Uh, Heard was but nice villager pick there from Demantis. Meanwhile, Scardi now pushing forward, going to be looking to make some sort of a damage onto onto Swiss Boy here, who is seemingly moving his army over to start raiding Shelty. But Shelty's already ready to defend, and this damage that Swiss Boy is going to be taking is all on this zebra here. He's going to want to grab those zebras out of. Uh, out of giraffe here, and he's currently having to eat these herbals. No husbandry either, so it's going to hurt a lot for Swiss Boy. Uh, but he is looking for some raids. There's a relic here. Staff of Dionysus, not the best to grab for anyone except for Joe uh, in this game, really. But Scardi here as a citizen. Swiss Boy here. Not quite noticing it, but go into box command and you can pick this off. Oh, we see the shockwave there, making sure the citizen survives. A nice play there from. Scardi, he could have, uh, Swiss Boy could have shockwaved that back out and then definitely surrounded with those uh, six units there, the Mermillos and the Prometheus, but decides against risking that one against the, the micro of that, holding on to his shockwave for a later stage. And there's the Migdol Stronghold, still one town center here for Joe. And here's the next market. The market is going up. So this is this could be one for early trade, which is fantastic. You get a late rain. You go for like double market in a team game, get that get that trade pumping, and you can be absolutely huge. And it looks like you're going for a timing attack because you're one town center, but you actually got three buildings worth of economic production. Um, but that's not happening just yet. We see the raids now coming over here, hitting Matrius. Let me go on after this, the uh, Hippocon chasing them around. The Hippocon, they, they've got the speed to catch up to these units here. Because the Mamilo only 5.28 speed, but it's really not that much. And these uh, these Terma can easily just retreat uh, by themselves if, uh, if Shelty wants them to. And more units are just starting to stream in. We've got a second town center on the way now. For Shelty, going to be huge. Uh, generally speaking, when the Greek players go to town centers, the answer for uh, Atlantean is to cut production and go three town centers. But in team games, it can be a little bit different. It's more, you want to get to that mythic edge a little bit earlier to get the the, uh, the vortexes or the Tartarian gate, which is all the good, strong stuff. Starting to see the camels coming in. We've got the, uh, the rock flying overhead. Going to have to get pushed back. 4.0 speed. Rock takes a little bit more damage than he used to, but... Still next to nothing there for that slight misplay. We see the Camo trying to take down this location here uh, as the market on the way. Farms start slowly starting to come up for Joe. And Scardi getting pushed back. Swiss Boy is here. Same with Mattress. It's going to be a tough fight there to win. There's Scardi now pushing forward yet again. He wants to get in here. There are Kyra Ballast or one Kyra Ballast here, so that's going to be a bit of a nuisance to push through, though. It looks like Swiss Boy is moving that one forward to come into the fight. Oh, Scardi with a bit of a mis misstep here. Now let's lose one Terma and a little bit of HP on his army. Potentially some more units going to be falling because these are this is a 4.95 speed army uh, as opposed to the 4.0528 speed. 
Uh, hand axe coming through for Swiss Boy, starting to get those economic upgrades. And we see the, uh, <laughs> the euros from uh, Shelty coming through to try and take down the the Chiron as he's trying to push through this this gate here. I'm still surprised there's still really not much going on here. We see the Vortex, not the Vortex, the Locust coming... <gasps> Demand is a bit of an accidental eject there. Uh, the locust onto the farms and then rain. Going to be getting that rain coming in. How many farms do we have here? We've only got 12 farms. The market up as well, but not going to be starting that production. It is looking like uh, Joe is simply going straight to the mythic age here. Uh, I'm going to be attempting to make that work as he's continuously pumping out units. So it's just like a one down center, semi fast mythic, it looks like at this point for. Uh, for Joe, so that's going to be uh, very, very difficult. Lots of damage incoming. Uh, and if they can time that with like a Shelty, Scardi, uh, Heroic Age, following up that with a Mythic Age a little bit later, it could be very strong. But it is looking like Scardi's gone three town centers, so it's not going to be the earliest of Heroic Ages. And same for Shelty, as Mattress is getting his own third town center. Meanwhile, these are Hippocon kind of getting caught out here, taking a little bit of damage. Only going to lose one or two of them, though, before retreating away. So not the not the best, not the worst. We do have these walls now finally up here for Team Yuka. Still no attempt at walling this off. This is what's important. I'm surprised that they didn't just say, Joe, you got to just do it. Get that wall up. We see the Chiron going down. Rock sitting here with 25 hit points. I want to consider healing that one up. Just want to see how much uh, Joe's got. He's got a lot of food in the bank, but no gold. Oops. And Thea is coming through now for Shelty. Now, interesting choice to go Thea here. Uh, it's going to give him access to those Dryads. It makes his late game comp much stronger because you can kind of... Dryads cost no population and then they kind of are worth about three population-ish. So uh, if you have five of them out, that's you being 15 population over cap. Uh, so it's really, really good in the late game if you can afford to make them. And they are very expensive, though. And there's all oh, big shifting sands coming in here from Joe. Going to be attempting to deal a ton of damage onto these Greek villages. And he does pick off a ton of them here. Let's check out what population Domantis is on right now. He's got 46 villages remaining after that uh, that attack. But there's already a couple of units here. And Joe's going to have to make his way out. Got the army of, of Domantis coming back in. And Joe's going to be kicking himself a little bit. A little bit of a greedy shifting sense. Maybe save that one for a little bit later in the game. Um, but he's going to have to just be a distraction here with these units. The the Hippocon, they got 6.05 speed now. So they're going to be able to completely kill off these chariot archers. And, and they're going to be not so happy. So maybe he can turn around and fight this a little bit. Um, but he is going to just keep running around looking for some more raids. We see Scotty looking for something. He does manage to pick off a citizen here, it looks like. Irrigation coming through for Shelty as he's moving forward with his army. Going to be looking to hit Matrius somewhere who is just at full population right now. Uh, and considering going uh, Heroic Age, it looks like. Yeah, there it is. He's going through Dionysus here. So he's going for Super Cavalry. Uh, I love that. He's already got Spirited Charge, so he can get uh, Thracian Horses very, very fast, and maybe even get Bacchanalia, get the super, super duper Hippocon Heavy Cavalry, and then just run around and be absolutely huge. Oh, we are seeing a couple of snipes here as Shelty coming in to save the day. These villagers are not going to be happy about that. They're getting pushed back. Joe's actually getting a second town center here. As he started this trade route, still not started the trade route, still not going to the Mythic Age. Very, very interesting uh, strat here from Joe. It's, it, it doesn't really seem to be working out, but he has done a lot of damage to Demantis, and it's looking like Shelty going to be retreating here as Joe taking a, a bit of more of a favorable fight over here. These units taking so much damage. These Hippocon from Matrius are just so absurdly strong right now with the spirited charge uh and here's the other thing that happens when you go dionysus oh, we see a restoration coming through as well for uh team yuka but when you go dionysus uh you get access to bronze and you can use that anywhere on the map but meanwhile we're seeing scardi getting absolutely torn to the ground here on this location the prometheus push here doing so much damage to scardi he's starting to pump out these buildings though he's got the car about to coming out there's a town center here it's only 2100 hp because it is an atlantean town center but 
Uh, it's looking like Swiss Boy is actually in a fairly decent position pushing forward, but he is only on two town centers. So he's got the advantage in terms of Citizen in this matchup. So we'll see if he can hold on here, basically, is all that he needs to do. Did he go uh, fair or... I didn't see what he went. Let's click, and click here and see. Uh, he's not advanced. That's why I can't see. Anyways. Uh, and now we see the Dryads pushing through for uh, Shelty. Looking over here, we've got Thracian horses immediately coming through as well as Irrigation. Surprised to see not Heavy Cavalry. Oh, he's got Heavy Cavalry. Okay, I was going to say Heavy Cavalry first and then Thracian horses is, is, is kind of better because while Thracian horses gives you a little bit more HP, I think. What does this give? 15% cavalry hit points and Thracian horses is is 20%. So a little bit more HP, 5% more HP. Um, the heavy cavalry gives you just too much hack damage for it to even be a question. Um, so, but getting that next is incredibly good for him. So we'll see if he's going to be able to make these super cavalry work in this game. Meanwhile, Shelty is just flooding in. He may want to be thinking about how is he going to deal with these? So catapulties are a big counter to the uh, to the super fast Hippocon, but they're very, very slow. Uh, and the Hippocon are just never going to fight that. But we are seeing him move in with his Hippocon, taking down some of these Arcus in the back before making a move onto these Mermillo. And Chelty just going to be running away. Hecate is on the way. They are coming through now for Scardi. As the citizen here getting pushed back, and it's looking like Scardi can now grab this town center. A little bit greedy. Uh, rushing Tartarian Gate in the Uranus Mirror is a little bit better than, than getting a fourth town center. Uh, and oftentimes, a two town center Uranus can just completely bust it through a four town center Uranus uh, if they uh, are not behind and they just rush for the Mythic Age. See so a one, ooh, almost a, a dead. Citizen there, but he does manage to garrison that. The unit's coming back onto this location here. This town center is going down. Uh, the Dryads don't deal crush damage, but 15, 15 hack damage is still a lot of hack damage. Meanwhile, over here, we're seeing Joe back and forth. He's getting his fortified town centers. All of these upgrades coming in right now for everyone as the mid game is starting to uh, become very, very problematic here for Demantis as a forward Migdal Stronghold. We see the bronze coming in onto this location uh, and lots, or every single one of these units is bronze, even if it doesn't look like it. You can see that, um, that these, these units over here have still got their upgrades. Just a graphical bug, uh, but Town Center is about to fall here. Mason is gonna be very close here and he does get it out in time, so it's gonna be able to stay alive for just a little bit longer here. Meanwhile, a back down center for uh, for Swiss Boys going down and Tartarian Gate in the base of Swiss Boy here. The Tartarian Spawn's going after the villagers and it's going to be able to take down the town center as well very, very easily here. And we see Ceasefire coming in. The citizens coming forward for Swiss Boy. He's going to grab this one for himself. But the problems right now are 100% this Tartarian Gate. But, but we have a... Colossus coming over and potentially a Polyphemus can come through as well to take this down very easily and that's going to be dealt with there. Forge of Olympus on the way now for Natrius Champion. Cavalry has got the, she's going to have the strongest cavalry he can possibly have very, very soon. It's always a disgusting amount of HP. It's like 250 HP if I had to guess. Am I right? It might be. Let's let's wait and see. We can be excited. Put your bets in the, in the chat here. How much HP does a fully upgraded uh, Hippocon have? And it's 247. Ah, it's three off. Damn. Win some, you lose some, I guess. And we see Osiris coming through now for Joe. That's going to be huge. Osiris is so big in these situations here. With the, uh, with the son of Osiris, God Power, the mummies, uh, and the catapults coming in on the back. You can see Joe's already got a lot of this set up. We see a, another Migdal Stronghold coming up here for Joe, making sure he doesn't want to lose that to a uh, an, an earthquake or something. We all, we've only got fortified town centers, so I want to consider getting masons. If you get masons... Fortified town centers. A lot of the time, you can keep your town centers alive from the earth. We see Shelter sending a lamp aids through here. Chaos did get thrown down on this location here. And the Colossus is funnily enough moving forward. He wants to attack something else. But the Tartarian Gate will get picked off here. The Prometheans coming back here. At, but it's looking like Shelty and Scardi ready to start pushing in these Tartarian spawns. Going to be going after the purple units. Exactly how Team Dodd wants that one there. 
And we do finally see these walls coming up for Scotty and Shelty and Joe. All of them putting walls up. They've just been arguing over who's going to get it first. And, uh, and they decide, you know what? Why don't we all do it and hold hands? Um, and now... And God is pushing forward the birds. The raining fire from the sky here. Uh, and just super, super strong. Not a lot that Matrius can do here to help out Swiss Boy. Swiss Boy is getting absolutely pummeled here. Scardi about to be four town centers getting this one up. We've got Vortex here now for Scardi. He can start just jumping everywhere he want, that he wants. We've got a Titan Gate coming through for Shelty as well. We've got the Son of Osiris here for Joe. Just the power spikes from Team Dodge just hitting on every single cylinder as soon as this town center falls. Uh, Scotty can just vortex somewhere else and, and take this down, but Matrius grabs one of Swiss Boy's town centers here. And it's going to be his mission to keep Swiss Boy alive. Uh, and we do see some Tyroid coming out now for Matrius. We'll see if we can get some raids out, but I'm not sure that's going to be exactly possible. More buildings falling over here. Uh, and, and Joe just needs to take it slow. He doesn't need to force anything. Just has to hold this position tight and probably come forward and, and help him out as well. And the uh, the fortress coming up for Matrius, but Shelty pushing forward, not allowing it. Surprised to see no Vortex just yet. Um, from, there it is. Where is he going? He's coming over here, hitting demands. is exactly what he needs to do. Take down this town center. He's got fire siphons. He's got hecka gigantes. We do see the earthquake coming in onto this location. Ooh, bit of a mistake here from um, from Shelty. Where's the? Does he have? Uh, he's got the Hesper tree over here. But you, you kind of when you get when you go um, Thea and you know you're going for a Titan Gate, you put one Hesper tree down in your base. And then you put the Titan Gate next to it and put the Tesper tree down next to it as well. And you're not going to get hit by anything. But now Titan coming out now for Matrius in order to combat uh, Shelties. And there is no Vortex here for a little bit, but we'll see. It comes back up so quickly. It is 60 seconds, and I, I'm pretty sure this doesn't come out in time. And Swiss Boy Demantis tap out, Matrius taps out. After that, Team Dodd too good on Oasis in this game here. The Aranos too strong. Uh, Scardi just kind of outclassing Swiss Boy a little bit here. The three town centers not being able to get uh, to the the Mythic Age or even the Heroic Age. And, and not grabbing these Zebra here was a big, big problem for Swiss Boy. If you could get these Zebra, he was, probably was in a better position. But going four minutes up and not being able to do any damage early. That was kind of the nail in the coffin in the matchup at the very least. And while Matrius did manage to get huge here with the 247 HP Hippocon, uh, he just he just couldn't really do anything with it. Couldn't get into his opponent's base. Couldn't be able to hit anything. He has the Tyroid ready, but just not enough time to get going. And, and Demantis, admirable play here against Joe. Uh, and honestly, he probably can go even here for a very, very long time. Uh, if not win this uh, this side, if he wants to, if he's allowed to use the earthquake on Joe, so uh, very nice play from Demandus. But again, stalemate, not enough in this game, and Dodd does level the series one to one. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next game.